what's up guys welcome back to my channel where i talk about men's fashion and vintage fashion so it feels good to be back on youtube and guys i'm ready to crush it this year on youtube like crush it because in this last period i felt sad because many things were going downhill but right now i want to stay positive and try to get the best here on youtube i have a lot of projects in my mind that i want to do this year and also new projects and new series are coming guys so stay tuned but right now let's dive in into the seventh episode of subcultures fashion so today guys we're going to dive in in one of my favorite top subcultures that comes from the late 80s and early 90s that is called drum roll please new jack sweet New Jack Swing is a musical genre that was popular from the late 80s to the early 90s. The pioneer of New Jack Swing is the music artist and producer Teddy Riley that was a lead in the band Guy and Black Street during the 80s and the 90s. The use of sampled beats and tunes was very common in the New Jack Swing scene. Famous New Jack Swing artists include Teddy Riley, Bobby Brown, I-5, Jodeci, Paul Abdul, Babyface, Belle Beef Devo, I'll Be Sure, Today, Guy, Color Me Bad, Michael and Janet Jackson, and many and many more. House Party, Boys in the Hood, New Jack City, Juice, and other movies in the early 90s used New Jack Swing songs in their soundtracks. The highest selling New Jack Swing album is Dangerous from Michael Jackson, 30 million copies sold in 1991. In the early 90s, New Jack Swing had its peak in American culture, from movies and sitcoms, examples, Fresh Prince of Bel Air and Living Single, to music and fashion. The New Jack Swing style was very different from other styles from the same period and was embraced by the Afro American community. Some defining characteristics of this style was the use of multiple colors in their outfits, baggy clothing, use of hip-hop clothing mixed with high fashion and jewelry. The major producers of New Jack Swing were Teddy Riley, Babyface, L.A. Reid, Jimmy Jam, Bernard Bell and Terry Lewis. Main clothing items of the New Jack Swing style are colorful blazers, baggy or double-breasted, patterned and colorful button-up shirts, silver and gold jewelry, denim jeans and parachute pants, large tees, windbreakers, overalls, snapback hats, squared or round sunglasses, ties and as shoes, combat boots, Nike and Jordan shoes, converse and vans. One of the major stylists for New Jack Swing artists was Angela Aunt Wisner that styled music artists in their urban music videos. And she started the Alex Vanderpool era together with Boys to Men, that is all about being loose while looking good. It includes bow ties, nerdish argile socks, hush puppies, and checkered cardigans. She was incorporating a style in the artist she was working with. The name New Jack Swing was established in 1987 by Teddy, meaning Johnny Come Lately. The sound of New Jack Swing is defined by hip hop beats made from the drum machine and hardware samplers combined with rhythm and blues singing. New Jack Swing was in tune with the youth style of the era and left the mark in the music industry. So now that we know some facts about the history and the style of New Jack Swing, let's dive in into some outfits. I love the New Jack Swing style guys. I think probably 50 or 60% of my wardrobe is New Jack Swing inspired. I steal some clothes from my father. <laughs> no, actually my father is the thrift boss and he gives me all of his favorite outfits from the late 80s and early 90s. And also I thrift some pieces from 
the flare market or thrift stores that are from the late 80s and early 90s. One of my favorite inspos is Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I think Will Smith was top notch when he was into that sitcom and his style was fire, like literal fire. I love his colorful blazers, his colorful outfits, his crazy patterns. It was top notch. And so today I created three outfits, guys. I am so excited to show you guys. Very, very excited. And yes, I was inspired from different urban music videos from the late 80s and early 90s on his files for the fresh print from boys to men but you will see all of that right now and i will leave you to the little lookbook yes i can say it new jack swing started my love for vintage
So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you will know when I put my next video. And I'm ready for this year, guys. In fact, I will show you the planner that I did last year. This is my planner for 2020. As you can see, I think all the scripts, all my videos ideas were all here, guys. And I finished it like in time. There was only one page left. So I have a lot of video ideas that I want to do this year. This is the new planner that my sister gave to me this Christmas. And yes, I will continue my subculture series, my inspired movies, lookbooks. I will continue with fashion history. In fact, I'm doing a course online about fashion as design. And I'm almost at the end, guys. So I have a lot of material to share with you guys. And also, I have a special project in my mind. But it depends when all this weird situation will come to an end. And I will see you very, very soon. I think I forgot something. Oh yeah, I want to do more vlogs, more vintage cooking maybe, vintage video games, vintage theme weekends. Just having fun on my YouTube channel. So let me know if you want some fun videos that I can add to the fashion videos that I do usually. And uh, yes, that's all I think.